Man, I love that quote from General Washington. How are you guys doing tonight? This is Glasgow here. Uh, just doing a quick vid in kind of in honor of President's Day 2013. We want to do this vid for a little while. Uh, just kind of talking about my color-coded system uh, with AR mags here and different types of ammo. And kind of want to show you how I kind of go beyond just the appearance of the different types of uh, or different colors, P mags, uh, and how you can integrate it into a system uh, with different types of ammo. Now typically most people will use uh, different color mags to match their the furniture on their rifles and that makes a lot of sense. It looks really cool. But I just want to kind of show you how I use them uh, so that there's actual you know functionality to the colors of the mags as well. Uh, so over, over here on the left obviously we have Flat Dark Earth P mag and in my system Flat Dark Earth to me means a uh, full metal jacket. So Look at loaded up in that mag there, uh, some Federal XM-193. It's a great 5.56 round uh, for general purpose. It's an accurate, accurate round. But uh, in here on the table, we get one. Now it doesn't have to necessarily be an XM-193. Could be a 2.23 or just any type of full metal jacket ball ammo for general use. And so that's what flat dark earth means for me. Uh, then. The next mag here in black, whether it's a P-mag or some type of an aluminum mag uh, that I, I use sometimes as well. Uh, these are 223 Federal ballistic tip rounds. And so again, it could be a Federal you know, ballistic tip, could be a Fiocchi V-Max or Hornady V-Max. I really like the Fiocchis. Uh, and for the ballistic tip, I think you guys know what ballistic tip means. Uh, basically, it's just a hollow point bullet that has that little plastic tip on the end of it there and uh, that's just to help the round cut through the air and keep it aerodynamic and uh, keep it accurate which it does very very well these Federals perform very well as do pretty much any other ballistic tip like I said Fiocchi, Hornady, anything like that uh, a buddy of mine I've seen some pictures of some coyotes that he shot with these uh, ballistic tip rounds and of course it's going to have me like a 223 entrance but then the exit wound is just nasty so kind of my uh, strategy or, or theory on that if I were in a in a close quarters type of a situation something like that where you need a round that's just gonna do a lot of damage really really quick uh, pretty much you know kind of a CQB up close and personal uh, home defense I think would be great uh, to use the ballistic tip round uh, hopefully it's gonna do a good job of fragmenting and and like I said, doing damage and also not, you know, passing through walls and things like that. So, again, black ballistic tip. And then down here on the right, I went with uh, foliage green instead of OD green. Because the OD green is really dark, and so it looks a lot like the black. And uh, so it's easier to tell the two apart. I went with the foliage green PMAGs. And in my system, uh, foliage green means light armor piercing. So here you've got some Federal XM855 uh, light armor piercing rounds with a green tip, 62 grain, so it's got a leg core, and then that steel uh, penetrator tip in the end of it there. So obviously that could come in uh, handy if you're needing to punch through barriers, armor, maybe vehicles, uh, things like that. It'd be nice to have that steel penetrator tip. These things aren't going to fragment really the, the kind of last thing you want to do is use those those for uh, home defense anything like that because you're definitely going to be punching through walls with that thing that's what it's meant for but if you need to do that for some reason hey it's going to come in handy uh, to have them on you then uh, kind of another strategy or another another theory here now down at the bottom I have a federal uh, 556 55 grain tracer and the way that I integrate that into any of these mags that you're running in a defensive or offensive type of a situation it would be to, to put about five rounds in the mag and then a tracer and then top the mag the rest of the way off or maybe download it to 28 or 29 something like that and the way that would work is then if, when, you're, when you're running your rifle uh, when you get down to that fifth round you see that tracer go off and you, you can see those in the daytime as well as at night then that lets you know, you know, I've got five or so rounds left. I'm, I've got a mag change coming up, or going to go ahead and uh, do a tactical reload. So that's how I use the tracers, you know, in, in any of these types of mags. Uh, also, as you see, these mags are numbered. Highly recommend 
that you number your mags, especially if you have a lot of mags like I do. So when you're out at the range practicing training, uh, if, if your rifle starts acting up and it's mag related, then you know, you know number five is giving me problems. You might want to switch that out, uh, service it, whatever. But uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, other than that, the other way I, I, I would run these in my loadout system way it's set up, I'd have like three of the flat dark earth, you know, just your general purpose uh, FMJ running up front, several of those, and then just a couple of the blacks and a couple of the foliage, you know, because those are your kind of special purpose type of rounds that you're not going to use uh, for the most part. But at the same time, though, if you need it, it's right there. Swap it out, and you can run ballistic, swap it out, you can run armor piercing, and uh, there you go. So, guys, that's it's just kind of like that a strategy or uh, a concept for integrating the different colored mags so you can run different ammo uh, for different things so we're not out there just running you know the good old FMJs. These things work for 99.9% .9 of whatever you, you might need them for uh, but it's not going to hurt to to have a little variety and uh, to be able to do some some special stuff if you ever needed it to God forbid. So alright guys let me know what you think let me know if you think this is a good strategy or a, a good, good concept, something that could be practical to use in real life if you ever needed to. Alright guys, uh, happy President's Day, Glasgow out.